Welcome to the Pixel Streaming Showcase from Unreal Engine 5.2. This is a fantastic starting point for learning the basics of Pixel Streaming, as well as demonstrating a few of the helpful features available in Pixel Streaming. If you're a more hands-on learner, you can download and play with this showcase for free right now. Head to the Samples section of your Epic Games Launcher and download the Pixel Streaming demo. Please note that this demonstration is not designed to explain each function in detail, but to display what can be achieved using Pixel Streaming using examples from this project. So if you're unsure about any of the concepts presented in this video, don't worry, we'll go over them all in detail later. For this demonstration, the package showcase is currently set up on a G4DN XLarge AWS instance in Sydney, streamed to a local machine in Melbourne. Alongside the game, the Pixel Streaming demo has a custom front end to better show the possible interactivity of Pixel Streamed applications. There are endless benefits to building your own front end to suit your needs. Let's take a moment now to explore this front end. I'd like to draw your attention to the information panel at the bottom. This provides a brief explanation on how each section of the front end works, should you wish to explore them further. At the top left, we have two different sections that demonstrate different interactions connected peers can play with. These include Send Data. As the name implies, this allows you to send data. For context, this sends a data payload that is interpreted by UE and responded to accordingly. In this case, selecting a character or a skin. We also have Send Commands to UE. This section allows you to send UE specific commands through your stream to the UE application, such as displaying your FPS or changing the resolution of the application. Although we've only added a few commands to this section, don't be afraid to modify this front end yourself. Digging through the custom front end may help you understand how it works. For those of you who are wanting to check this out, I'll pop a link to the showcase front end in the video description. Furthermore, the application has some pixel streaming tools built in, highlighted in a HUD element. You can easily toggle between each element with the F key. We won't go into detail about these functions in this video, but they are set up for you to experience them easily. Additionally, you may have noticed these buttons here in the top left. This is the default front end that exists in the pixel streaming infrastructure, and it allows you to control many different aspects of your stream. We'll explore these in detail in upcoming videos. That's all for this demonstration of pixel streaming. I hope this has helped you understand what pixel streaming is from a more first-hand experience and the potential it can bring to your applications and games. Follow along in the next videos as we delve deeper into setting up your own pixel stream and what all of these features do.